I'm bringing y'all the video y'all wanted. I just called Super Ego, bro. Check this out, man. The dude got mad and hung up on me. I don't know what else to say. I'm out. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm doing good. I was calling to get information about Super Ego. Okay, I will transfer a call to a recruiter. Before I do that, tell me how much experience do you have over the road and how do you find us? Um, I have 30 years experience. And I found y'all just by looking at the trucks and trailers sitting on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Stand the line. This call is being recorded. Please hold while I try to connect you. Really speaking, I was going to help you. Hey, man, I will call to get information about Super Ego. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me sir, how much experience you have in the trucking business. I have 30 years experience. And what else you said? Uh, any DUIs or DWIs in the meantime? No. No. So, uh, pretty much sure what you can expect from Super Ego. Uh, Seventy-five percent of each load goes to you. Uh, Acts to the load board, so you can book your own load. Essentially, it's you know additional to the load by the dispatcher, offered on a daily basis. Uh, you can accept or decline as you see fit. Of course, uh, you are getting the option to choose regional trucking, uh, forty-five states, or choose OTI trucking with all forty-eight covered, and of course. Home time is whenever you want. Um, it's a vocal release, no penalty, no charges, and $1,000 bonus if you bring something to the company and they pay that for one month. Okay, uh, my question okay. is uh, what's up with all these negative videos about Super Ego? What that mean? I said, didn't hear you. I said, like, all the negative videos and everything that's on YouTube about Super Ego, what is it about that, you know, the driver's not getting paid and all that? Well, pretty much it's not that the driver's not getting paid, but if you pick up and deliver two loads a week and pay out the equipment um, because of the freedom that we allow to you know, for the driver to choose whatever he wants from 2018, from 2019, I'm sorry, to 2025, that becomes a problem uh, because 2023, 2024, and 2025 trucks are 700 a week. Uh, with that, you're getting a trailer as you can at least it's 300 a week if you're in a rented to 25 a week. And car insurance is 295. Uh, so if you pick up and deliver two loads a week, uh, you are not making, you know, more money than the weekly deduction is, so pretty much you're in a negative. And then the driver says, well, you didn't pay me. No, we actually paid you, but because of your weekly deduction, more than, you know, the amount of money you made on a weekly basis is more. And pretty much the driver is in a negative, and he then repeats the same thing next week, uh, to the two a week. And then again, the negative is still, you know, higher than the amount of money that the driver made. Pretty much, no, we repeat that, or the driver repeats that for three weeks and then quits. That's, you know, what's happening. Okay, this is my other question. So, if you wanted to just buy the truck and not rent the trailer, do you still have to pay for that trailer, even though you don't want to buy that trailer or rent it? Oh, sir. If you have your own trailer, you can always, uh, you know, put it in Super Ego. You can just, you know, lease the truck. Where it's, as you said, three to three hundred to seven hundred a week, depending on what you get uh, or what you choose. And pretty much that's it. You're paying out the the truck. Car insurance is without mandatory, and that's pretty much it. So you don't have to buy the trailer. You don't have to pay no trailer note or nothing like that. Well, do you have your own trailer? No. Well, you would have to get a trailer with that. Trip. How can you, you know, drive loads or pick up loads without a trailer? 
Okay. Um, my other question is, do you um, what I was about to ask? Uh, okay, the percentage. What is the percentage? Is it is it eighty eight percent? Seventy five percent to feed slaves. Okay. Um, the website say eighty eight percent. What happened to the eighty eight percent? Well, sir, that's uh, pretty much your lease. Now we're working with 75% of each load because we pretty much changed, you know, the entire uh, company policy regarding the, you know, workers that worked in the brokerage department, that worked in the dispatch department, and we pretty much changed, you know, all of our customers regarding the, you know, companies that we're working with to get loads from. Okay, 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 I understand that. Um. Hey, what is it um, with this lawsuit? Is, is y'all getting sued? Pretty much, sir, that's the thing that I was talking about. Uh, the drivers are usually coming in as a company and driver trying to be a lease purchase. Then comes the situation with, you know, the thing that I was telling you about. You can accept the client how many loads you want, and you can book your own loads. And you pick up delivered three loads a week, and home time is whenever you want. Usually the driver tends to fall down to that home time is whenever you want and goes home for, you know, the rest of the week. Two, two weeks in the, two days in the road and the rest of the week is off. So, uh, then, you know, the, pretty much the drivers are seeing us because of that. But pretty much we, you know, we have won every every single lawsuit from the driver that, you know, can answer to Super Eagle just because of that. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty simple math, but the driver doesn't understand it. It says, you know, uh, home time, whatever you want, but you have to work for that. You have to take care of the corporate. You're pretty much working towards to become uh, the owner of the corporate. You're not a company driver just picking up delivering loads. And uh, sometimes the drivers, you know, tend not to take a look at that. They're not interested in the maintenance of the equipment. They're not interested, you know, in getting better loads because sometimes you have to risk getting a higher paying load, uh, you know, to get a, lo- a smaller pay- paying load just to get in the area where the loads are higher uh, or paying higher, paying more. And the drivers don't understand that. They pretty much, you know, go like, I don't know. I'm that, I don't, I'm not being interested in that, then that's pretty much it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm just asking because, you know, I'm interested in coming to Ego, but I want to know the good and the bad, you know. So, I mean, like, I know one guy, you know, he had got fired and, you know, they never paid him his last check. And, you know, I mean, they was adding extra stuff on to the settlement. You know, they don't let you know when your uh, monthly expenses or whatever coming out. You know, I mean, I, I just don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't let you know nothing. And you get you get paid before you get your checks up. And by the time you get your pay up, they, they done took all your money. You know, they turn the fuel cars off. Like, these are stories I done heard. You know, I just I just wanted to know. The fuel card is pretty much active active while the driver's on the under the load because uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, sir. Uh, you're getting two hundred and fifty gallons daily worth of fuel. And some drivers were you know, pretty much uh not moving at all or just driving around their state and the fuel was being used like they were driving coast to coast. So that's why, you know, if the driver is not under a load, the fuel card is not active. If a driver is under a load, then the fuel card is active. That's why, you know, that happened with the fuel card. Uh, next thing, uh, the thing that, you know, they, they, uh, the drivers are telling you or saying that, you know, uh, things were added on on the, the weekly settlement. Every fourth uh, week of the month is pretty much weekly deductions, your standard things, truck note, trailer note, car insurance. But once a month, you have a monthly deduction. That's uh, ELD support, bobtail, physical damage insurance, trip tax, and permits. So all of a sudden, you have once a month a bigger uh, deduction than usually, than, you know, three weeks out of the four weeks of the month. 
and then they're telling you know pretty much telling the the payroll lady, well, why did you put you know a weekly a weekly 